Who else here is addicted to Amazon? Well, this video is for you. Hey there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all things Amazon favorites. Let's skip the really boring intro where I tell you what I'm gonna talk about because you already know. You know what you clicked on this video for. We're talking about my Amazon favorites. So let's get started. I guess we can start with this guy right here. This is a 16 ounce tumbler that is double walled and just clear for aesthetic purposes. And as you can see, I love to put my iced coffee in here. I take it to work, I take it in the car, on the go, or when I'm just wandering around my apartment. It's great. What I like about these is it keeps my drink cold and it doesn't start to get that condensation and like the sweat on the outside. They come in multiple different colors. I personally like the clear one. I think it looks really cute. One of these tumblers is $7.99 and it is on Amazon Prime. These favorites are in no order by the way, but if we're on the topic of drinks, let's talk about water bottles. If you've seen any other video of mine and you've seen me drinking water in those videos, more than likely it's from this guy right here. Seriously, you guys, this is hands down the best water bottle I've ever had. This water bottle is from the brand Simple Modern. They have so many different sizes and amazing colors to choose from. This one specifically is the 40 ounce in the color Riptide. It's this like really pretty dark greenish blue color. If you're still on like the Hydro Flask trend or you still like to buy those because you just like the little logo on it, honestly, let me save you some money. This is a 40 ounce water bottle for $24.99. And if you have Amazon Prime, it's free shipping. It has the flip top and straw lid. It's got this little handle that you can carry it if you want to. I also have another water bottle from the same brand except in all black and this is the 22 ounce one. I love this one as well. It's obviously smaller and more compact. It does fit in my cup holder. The 40 ounce does not fit in the cup holder of my car. I highly, highly recommend this brand, especially if you don't have just like a favorite water bottle. I feel like when you reach your 20s, there's a couple things in your life that are very routine and just very close to you. I feel like one of them is having the water bottle, like your favorite water bottle. And the other thing is like a favorite burner on the stove front right people where you at. By the way, this 22 ounce one is $18.99 and if you have Amazon Prime, free shipping. All right, so I've been in my apartment for about a year now and the decorating is just kind of, it was like going really well and then I was like, eh, I got really lazy and a little bit broke after moving in. So decorating my room has come to a halt right now, especially because it's really challenging and not really appropriate to just go leisurely walking around TJ Maxx, Marshalls, things like that right now for home stuff. However, I bought this. Now, you might think this is really weird. This might not be your aesthetic. That's okay, that's cool. My roommate, my best friend, Logan, she judged me real hard for this when I bought it. But that's okay, we'll judge you right back. There is really no rhyme or reason why I bought this. I just thought in my head, I have like a Pinterest board going. I have like favorites saved. I have an idea of what I want my room to look like color scheme wise and just decor wise. And I found this on Amazon. I thought this was so freaking cool. Literally no other reason than I just think it's a cool little decor piece. I think it just, I think it's just cool. Okay. That is literally all I have to say about it. This is a six inch David sculpture and it was $21.99. It was not on Prime, so I had to pay a couple bucks for shipping. I've talked about this item before because I swear by it. I love it my blue light glasses. I don't know what it is about blue light glasses. I don't know if I'm just psyching myself out and I think that they work, but I'm pretty convinced that they work. If you're someone like me that's always staring at a screen, you're scrolling on your phone, you edit videos for a long time, and then I know when I'm at work and I'm not with patience, I have to type notes and I'm staring at a screen for a very long time, these come in handy. When I'm not wearing my blue light glasses and I'm staring at a screen for a prolonged period of time, I swear my eyes get so dry and they actually start to turn bloodshot red. It's, it's terrible. Ever since I started wearing these, I notice a huge difference. Again, I don't know like the science behind it, but I swear by these. I've told everyone about them. When my coworkers see me wearing them, they're like, do they actually work? I'm like, I think so, like, am I crazy? Is it just like a scam? The specific ones I got are called the Leopard Print and they were $16.99 and free shipping with Amazon Prime. They are very big for my small head, but they do come in other shapes and sizes. And if you don't like this specific brand, there are hundreds of other brands on Amazon that, that sell them. But if you haven't already invested in a pair of blue light glasses, I highly recommend that you check them out. Next up, I'm talking about this amazing sports bra. I am very picky when it comes to sports bras. I need something to be comfortable. I need something that is supportive and I want it to not dig into my skin. So I have a huge ring around my rib cage because it was just digging into me with the elastic. 
hate that. I ended up getting a three pack. It came in this blue, a black one, I think a gray one for $24.99. If you're going for a run and you're doing a lot of high impact, it's not the most supportive sports bra, but it's supportive enough. I would say it's like a medium impact when you're doing exercise. The elastic band here at the bottom is really thick, so it does not dig into my skin. It doesn't start to roll. It's not uncomfortable. This is like really important to me. And it's also kind of long, so when you're wearing it, it actually kind of comes lower um, than just setting like really high up. The back is a racer back. This sits very comfortably over my shoulders. And yeah, it's just super soft, super comfortable. If you have curly and wavy hair and you have not transitioned into a silk pillowcase, girl or boy, what are you doing? This is a super soft, silky pillowcase. When you lay on it and sleep on it at night, you feel like you're the main character in a movie who is super rich and you live in a castle and you just get to sleep on silk. So there you go. The claims of silk pillowcases are all around the internet. Supposedly they can be a little bit better for your skin. It's also really great with people with wavy and curly hair. It reduces the frizz and kind of breakage on the pillowcase. Most pillowcases are 100% cotton. And for those of us that have curly and wavy hair, you may or may not know, but cotton actually can increase the amount of breakage and frizz in your hair. So switching over to a silk pillowcase can kind of help control and tame the frizz. I am like the CEO of frizzy hair. So when I switched over to a silk pillowcase, I actually did notice a little bit of a difference. One order is gonna give you two pillowcases and I got queen size for $12.99 in the color ivory. Even if you don't have curly hair and you don't have like skin issues or anything like that, just buy yourself a silk pillowcase. You'll thank me later. It's just, it feels so good. It's just amazing. That's all I have to say about that. Next up is this Q&A a day book. If you're like me and you like to write, you like prompts to write about, you like journals, you like books, you're gonna love this. So this is a little book, very compact, very small, and it asks you one question every day of the year for five years. And it gives you a space for five years and it says 20 blanks. So obviously you would fill in for this year, like 2020, next year, 2021, etc. And you would write your answer. And I think it's just so cool because in five years, I'm gonna be 29, Ooh, approaching my 30s and having a mental breakdown. It's fine, it's fine. I started this journal in January of 2020. So obviously I don't have any other years to compare my answers to, but it's been so fun so far. I keep it in my nightstand and every night before I go to sleep, I just answer the question of the day that evening. And it's just been really fun and it's just a little lighthearted activity to do. I think it's a great memory holder too, just to see how your life changes in five years. This book is also available on Amazon Prime for $10.99. My next Amazon favorites item is actually a skincare product that I've been loving lately, and it is this Super Goop Everyday Sunscreen. My dermatologist told me that everyone should be wearing sunscreen and have it a part of their daily routine, no matter the amount of melanin in their skin or lack thereof. This is definitely on the pricier side. I am not someone that thinks just because the price is higher, the quality is gonna be better. Um, I find a lot of stuff that I like from the drugstore, from Target, and it's inexpensive and it works wonders. This I decided to splurge on because I did wanna find a really great sunscreen for my skin because I have tried so many and they usually make me break out, they make me oily, they make me greasy, they give me a white cast. This is not that sunscreen. You put it on, it feels amazing, it's very lightweight. I actually put this on every single day before I apply my makeup. Even if I'm not going outside that day, I wear it no matter what. For 2.4 ounces, it is $22 and on Amazon Prime, so definitely a little pricier for this smaller bottle, but again, I think it's worth it. Also, it's cruelty-free, and for me, with sensitive skin, it works so well. So if you've got sensitive skin, you're looking for a sunscreen, I would try this out. All right, next up is my foam roller. Having a foam roller is really good for someone that works out a lot, you have sore muscles, you just need to stretch and kind of loosen up your muscles. The first time I ever learned about one of these and used one was when I was in school for physical therapy and we were learning how to do basic exercises and stretching. We all got introduced to the foam roller and I literally fell in love on the spot and I had to buy one for myself. This is the Amazon Basics one. It comes in a couple different lengths. I opted for the 36 inch because there's a specific stretch I like to do where you need the entirety of it to fit on your back. This was $23.99 with Amazon Prime free shipping and I freaking love it. After a really intense workout or the next day when my muscles are really sore, I just lay on the ground. I will roll it across my quads, my hamstrings, my glutes. I do my back. There's one specific stretch that I do where you lay on your back and this is kind of in line with your spine 
and you seriously just lay down and you put your arms at like a 90 degree angle next to you and it is the most amazing stretch for your pectoral muscles. Oh my gosh, if you have rounded shoulders like me, if you're sitting at a computer like this, if you have like tech neck, anything where you're just like hunched over, it likely means that your pecs, so your pectoral muscles are really tight and they just need a good old stretch. The best stretch I have ever done in my life is a pec stretch. If you don't know how to foam roll or you really don't know where to get started or how you would use it correctly, there are like a million videos on YouTube that you could check out. I also recommend if you're doing a Google search on how to use this, type in like foam rolling with physical therapy because physical therapists and physical therapist assistants are the ones that are gonna know the best ways to use this thing. Just be careful when you're searching on the internet. You don't wanna do it wrong and hurt yourself because again, this thing pretty solid and pretty hard and you don't want to hurt yourself or your muscles or your back or anything like that. If you know me or you follow me on my low carb Instagram at carbfreekayla, you know I love to cook, I love to bake, and I cannot live without my silicone baking mats. I've had these guys for a while. This one is like pretty worn as you can see. These are my favorite things to bake and cook with. If you're someone when you're baking and cooking and you're constantly using aluminum foil, wax paper, parchment paper, I recommend that you check out investing in a silicone mat. They're super easy to clean, they're environmentally friendly, they're easy to use, easy to store. So I don't think they sell this specific brand anymore on Amazon. I've had these for a couple of years now, but this is the brand Sil Chef and it came in three different sizes. But if you just search silicone baking mat, it's gonna come up with a bunch of different options. They're super great, especially if you're baking cooking a lot like myself. All right, so the last item in my Amazon favorites are these amazing, Adidas tennis shoes. These are the Adidas Cloud Foam shoes. They're so comfortable, they're so stylish. The inside literally feels like you're walking on a yoga mat, just super comfortable. You could easily wear these like working out if you wanted to, but they're also really stylish. So you could style them with a pair of leggings or a pair of cute jeans. Those are cute jeans. Your cute jeans. These were $45 and I ordered a size eight. Usually in shoes I wear between like a seven and seven and a half for whatever reason, I always order a size up with Adidas. So these are a size eight and they fit perfectly. If you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. Comment down below what your Amazon favorites are. Leave a link for other people to check out. If you have any of these things, let me know if you love them as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.